okay, this person commented to me and I was thinking, it is really going to be beneficial if I was to do a video on this person's comment because many people can be helped by this. Okay, brother, I appreciate and look forward to your videos. Thank you. I was one of the people that respectfully disagreed and had questions about honoring bad parents. I understand what you're saying here, but I'm still having a problem where we draw the line with toxic parents. Many of us who struggle with this have a legitimate reason for wanting to cut ties with our parents. We can't continue to put ourselves in situations harmful to our emotional and or physical health. Is it disrespectful to refuse to do for a parent who belittles me or abuses me in some way and some other way? Many of these parents don't do their part and are simply <clears throat> reaping what they've sown and to their children. If my stress levels rise with simple contact with a toxic parent, I can't continue to compromise my health. What about victims of physical sexual abuse? Do they continue to go around and do for these type of people? We know that we're all flawed in one way or another but we can't continue to dismiss unacceptable behavior. For the sake of honor, I hope you see where I'm coming from. Maybe I'm not mature enough in Christ. So you answered your question all in this sentence here. Let me say this. I forget which age, but I was young or younger. I hated my mom. And later on, I hated my dad. And I hated them for years. I wanted nothing to do with them at all. But to make a long story short, and I am not saying that they are bad parents or anything like that. I believe that they should have done other things. Let me say that. But to make a long story short, I started to follow God's rules and regulations. And I learned that it is a sin to hold unforgiveness, hatred, anger, bitterness, not so much anger, but wrongful anger, have that within you. So I had to release all of that. So I started to speak to my parents more, buy them gifts, trying to purge that wickedness out of me. Because don't you know that you can go to hell for holding unforgiveness, bitterness, hatred within you? I don't want to go to hell, so let me forgive them, whatever. And as time went by, no matter how they treat me or whatever else, my feelings toward them are good. 
there is this one parent where at times this person can be really difficult and I believe when you have gone through things or when you are currently going through things I believe that some people may not be able to see how they really are this parent can see the faults of other people everyone else but it can't see the problems within their self which is quite funny <laughs> to be honest they can point out everything that is wrong with other people but not within their self I have to hear this person there are other things as well and there are times where let me say this if you disagree with this person nine times out of ten if you don't back down this person is going to argue with you raise their voice just be really ugly with it there were times where I would come home or go to my room and just cry and pray and ask God to calm me down because I don't want to argue back I don't want to insult this person back I don't want to say anything rude back because God is monitoring everything that is happening so just because this person is being used by demonic forces I am not going to fall into that so I am going to shut my mouth and have God help me now before I used to argue with this person but after that I would feel so bad about it you know for falling into sin because I was baited by the demons whatever so I just take it and if I have to cry I cry and I pray to God about it no matter how this person is so if you disagree with this person more than likely this person is going to argue with you until you back down so how would you like being around a person like that where no matter how logical you are with this person if you are not agreeing with that person there is going to be problems and I am not saying that this person is bad I just believe that whatever even if that person was to call me now asking for help I would leave now whether I wanted to or not please listen to what I am saying please if you listen to what I am saying you are going to avoid so many more mistakes in life your life is going to become better because the pitfalls that you are falling into now is of your own doing God is monitoring everything that we are doing saying thinking behaving so on and so on 
if someone is really in need of something, and if you turn them down, the act of turning down is not a bad thing, but God is looking at the heart. Not that you turned down the person, but what is your intention? Why did you turn down that person? What was your intention? Well, my intention was this person is mean and rude. I don't want anything to do with this person. Don't you know that God is going to punish you for that? God knows how rude crude or whatever your parents may be but if they really need your help and you turn them down how crazy is when bad things happens to us we want god to have mercy upon us god please give me mercy god please bless me but when people are crying out for mercy, asking you for mercy, you turn your head. At least some people do. How can you cry out for mercy, but you are not willing to show mercy? Some people. Some people are very hypocritical there. God, please help me pay my bills. Help me do this and that. But when other people are asking you for help, you are like, nope, <laughs> I am broke. And you have a pocket full of money. <laughs> Don't you know that God is monitoring that? God is looking at you. Don't you know he allows stuff like that to happen for people to ask you for stuff? To see whether you are going to do it or not? And look at your heart and see your intentions for you doing it or not doing it? Oh my Lord. My Lord, don't you know that we are being tested? We have to be more and more like Jesus Christ each and every day. In order to be more like Jesus Christ, there are certain qualities within ourselves that needs to be purged out. So of course he is going to allow certain people around you to purge whatever that is in you that is not of him. I pray that this makes sense. But you keep fighting what God is allowing prolonging the process. Dealing with that person is going to purge something out of you that needs to be taken out. Dealing with those parents is going to purge something out of you. I don't know anything of you. I just know what you have written to me. There is something in you that is not of God that needs to be purged out. So you have to deal with your parents or those people to purge out those bad qualities within you. We have to be more and more like Jesus Christ each and every day. In order to get that way, God have to test us. God, God have to allow us to go through things 
so that we can acquire those qualities that we need. Because how else are we going to get them? Of course, God can snap his fingers and place some stuff inside of you. But obviously, that is not what he wants to do. So we have to play, not this game, I can't call it a game, but we have to play this, we have to live this life according to his will. So if he wants to test us, so be it. I pray that this makes sense. If your parents need your help and you turn them down and your intentions are wrong, watch out. I'm serious. Watch out. Because God is surely going to punish you. God is looking at the heart. You can say, well, I'm busy, you know, I, I have to take care of my kids, I have to brush my hair, I have to take a shower so I can't do it. God is looking at the heart. If your intentions are wrong, and you are not helping people because of some selfish reason, you better believe punishments much more are coming your way. You better believe it. You better believe it. So let me stop here. God bless you.